Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race which is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Good morning. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church, the church in Kenmat Terrace. It's Monday, the 8th of November, and I want to thank you for joining us as we gather online to pray the Office of Morning Prayer. I'm going to take a few moments to light a candle to symbolize the prayers of the scattered church, continuing to ascend into heaven, even when we can't physically gather for worship. You can do the same along with me if you'd like, and when we're ready, the service of morning prayer will begin on page 6 in the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, shall be excuse me, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us worship. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that he would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us worship. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 80, beginning on page 433. Hear, O thou shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock. Show thyself also, thou that sittest upon the cherubim. Before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up thy strength and come and help us. Turn us again, O God, show the light of thy countenance, and we shall be whole. O Lord God of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry with thy people that prayeth? Thou hast fed them with the bread of tears, and hast given them plenteousness of tears to drink. Thou makest us a very strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Turn us again, O God of hosts. Show the light of thy countenance, and we shall be whole. Thou broughtest a vine out of Egypt. Thou didst drive out the nations and plant it in. Thou madest room for it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the mighty cedars with the boughs thereof. She stretched out her branches unto the sea, and her boughs unto the river. Why hast thou then broken down her fences, so that all they that go by pluck her grapes? The wild boar out of the wood doth root it up, and the wild beasts of the field devour it. Turn us again, O God of hosts. Show the light of thy countenance, and we shall be whole. 
Look down from heaven, behold, and visit this vine, and the stock that thy right hand hath planted, and the branch that thou madest so strong for thyself. (coughs) Excuse me. It is burnt with fire and cut down. (coughs) It is burnt with fire and cut down. They perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand and upon the Son of Man, whom thou madest so strong for thine own self. And so shall we not go back from thee. O, let us live, and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of thy countenance, and we shall be whole. (laughs) Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. (laughs) The first lesson is written in the book of Nehemiah, the ninth chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now, on the twenty-fourth day of this month, the people of Israel were assembled with fasting and in sackcloth, and with earth upon their heads. And the Israelites separated themselves from all foreigners, and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. And they stood up in their place and read from the book of the law of the Lord their God for a fourth of the day. For another fourth of it they made confession and worshipped the Lord their God. Upon the stairs of the Levites stood Jeshua, Bani, Cadmiel, Shebaniah, Bunny, Sherebiah, Bani, and Kenani. And they cried with a loud voice to the Lord their God. Then the Levites, Jeshua, Cadmiel, Bani, Hashabnei, Sherebiah, Hodiah, Shebaniah, and Pethahiah said, Stand up and bless the Lord your God from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be thy glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. And Ezra said, Thou art the Lord, thou alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. And thou preservest all of them and the host of heaven worships thee. Thou art the Lord, the God who didst choose Abram and bring him forth out of Ur of the Chaldeans, and give him the name Abraham. And thou didst find his heart faithful before thee, and didst make with him the covenant to give to his descendants the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Jebusite, and the Girgashite. And thou hast fulfilled thy promise, for thou art righteous." And thou didst see the affliction of our fathers in Egypt, and hear their cry at the Red Sea, and didst perform signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants, and all the people of his land. For thou knewest that they acted insolently against our fathers, and thou didst get thee a name as it is to this day. And thou didst divide the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land, and thou didst cast their pursuers into the depths, as a stone into mighty waters. By a pillar of cloud thou didst lead them in the day, and by a pillar of fire in the night to light light for them the way in which they should go. Thou didst come down upon Mount Sinai and speak with them from heaven, and give them right ordinances and true laws, good statutes and commandments. And thou didst make known to them thy holy Sabbath, and command them commandments and statutes, and a law by Moses thy servant. Thou didst give them bread from heaven for their hunger, and bring forth water for them from the rock for their thirst, and thou didst tell them to go in to possess the land which thou hadst sworn to give them. Here endeth the first lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 7. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son. 
also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the Revelation to St. John the Divine, the 18th chapter, beginning at the first verse. After this I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his splendor. And he called out with a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. It has become a dwelling place of demons, a haunt of every foul spirit, a haunt of every foul and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk the wine of her impure passion, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth have grown rich with the wealth of her wantonness. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, lest you take part in her sins, lest you share in her plagues. For her sins are heaped high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Render to her as she herself has rendered, and repay her double for her deeds. Mix a double draught for her in the cup she mixed. As she glorified herself and played the wanton, so give her a like measurement of torment and mourning. Since in her heart she says, A queen I sit, I am no widow, mourning I shall never see. So shall her plagues come in a single day, pestilence and mourning and famine, and she shall be burned with fire, for mighty is the Lord God who judges her. Here endeth the second lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life, And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people, for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Almighty God, who hast knit together thine elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of thy Son, Christ our Lord, grant us grace so to follow thy blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those unspeakable joys which thou hast prepared for them that unfeignedly love thee. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, Defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who art afflicted in the afflictions of thy people, regard with thy tender compassion those in anxiety and distress. Bear their sorrows and their cares, supply all their manifold needs, and help both them and us to put our whole trust and confidence in thee. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers this morning for all those who are in need of prayer, whether they have particularly asked us to pray for them, or whether the Spirit of God puts it into our hearts to pray. As we make intercession for them this morning, we are reminded that we are coming into God's presence with them on our hearts. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Again, thanks for praying with us this morning. I hope these daily services of morning and evening prayer are a blessing to you. And if so, I hope you'll take a few moments to help us make them more visible to other people. That's what happens when you click the link, the like button on this video. Take a few moments if you haven't done so, if you haven't done so in the past. Share this video with someone that you think might also appreciate praying with us on a daily basis. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube, our YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and that'll make it that much easier to find your way back to us the next time we'll we gather for prayer. And until we do that, be good. God bless and take care of each other. Bye-bye.